Alright, hey guys, I am back. So in this tutorial, I am going to be showing you guys how to play GameCube Extracted Files in Dolphin. Now you might be thinking, oh, why would you want to do this? Well, there are, there's actually a number of reasons why, but the main reason is, say for example, you're, you know, let's say you hack a GameCube game, for example. Let's say you hack Pikmin. This tutorial will definitely help you out, because doing this means you won't have to rebuild the ISO image every single time. So not only does it save time, but it's also... It also saves your hard drive like nobody's business, because every time you rebuild that ISO image, you're building over a gigabyte. And if you have an SSD, that could wear it down kind of fast, so... Stay tuned. Now, now the first thing we want to do is we, we put our game, you know, our, our ISO image, for example, into our directory, and yeah, if you, yeah, if, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do this, but, you know, putting the, you know, having the game show up here, but anyway, what we want to do is we right click our game, we click on properties, we go to we click on we click on the right arrow until we get to file system. Now, when we click on file system, you see we have all of this content here. However, we right click on this, and you yeah, I'm pretty sure you've guys seen this before, but there's actually another option right here, which I'm honestly kind of surprised this isn't as popular as it is. But there's an option here. It says extract the entire disk now this not only extracts all the files but this also extracts like the boot.doll files you know which which allows the files to become bootable so what we want to do is we click extract the entire disk we create our folder so let's just call it I guess pick to to Tuto? Yeah, pick two Tuto, I guess. So, we click on pick two Tuto, and, or our hack folder, and we click select folder. Now, doing this will extract all the files and the bootable data, so, you know, so this way you don't have to rebuild the ISO image, at least until you're ready to put it on a console. So yeah, there we go. Everything's all done. That was pretty fast. Well, considering I have an M2 SSD, but I digress. Yeah, that's basically all you gotta do. So, yeah, let's open up File Explorer again. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prove to you guys that this works. So we go to our we go to our hack folder. Yeah, now you guys can see there are two folders here. There's the file system, which is duh, the file system. And here's the sys folder. Yeah, and you see the yeah, or sorry, it's it's called the main.dol. And you got the boot.bin. This is basically all the stuff that allows these files right here to become bootable. So to test and prove to you guys that this works, we are going to go to user. Let's do, I guess, Abe, because this is just a bunch of text files. Um, let's you know, let's go to map. Let's do tutorial because this is the first area of the game. Let's do default gen because this is basically what loads at the start. And we will go. You can choose whichever you want, really. But basically, let's say for example, I'll do this because this is basically the Pikmin at the start of the game, you know, like when you, you know, when the ship crash lands and you see the bulb orb with the Pikmin attacking it, yeah, this is pretty much what this is. Now, to prove to you, like I said, to prove to you guys this works, we are going to do zero, you know, to make it a different, yeah, because this is the color of the Pikmin. Now, this is the amount, because, yeah, you know, usually you get five Pikmin at the beginning of Pikmin 2. Let's make this... Oh, I don't know. Let's go overboard on this. Let's go 100. Let's save that. 
And now what we are going to do is make sure we go to our config, we go to our paths, and yeah, this was from an earlier take of the tutorial. So yeah, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this to our our directories, or you can just open it, just click file, open, just go to your, you know, go to your boot, but yeah, where is my Pikmin 2? Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, forgive me for this. But, um, yeah, anyway, yeah, we just select the folder. We just click, we just click select folder. And now, we should see, yeah, I know there's a sec, there was a second Pikmin 2 option here, but this was just because I have a, I have a ROM hack in here. This is the file you want to look at because I mean it says Pikmin 2 it's got Nintendo on it but as you can see it's got zero bytes now basically the reason why this says zero bytes is basically because again this isn't an ISO image this is like all this is like the actual files so it, it doesn't really read the actual files but it will read if it's an ISO image so to prove to you guys that this works I know I've said that over and over and over again, but yeah to show you guys Let's open up our game Now this is gonna look a little weird because I do have the 60 FPS patch enabled and I got the two-player Action replay code enabled so Yeah, if it does look a bit weird. Yeah, that's why so Yeah, we're gonna click on begin We're gonna do our new game Skip that cutscene, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, see, as you can see, the cutscene is super buggy with the 60 FPS. You know, with the 60 FPS patch. And you might be thinking, oh, why are you using the 60 FPS patch? Well, it just looks nicer. Yeah, you'll see. You'll, yeah, you'll see by the footage. Now, yeah, we're gonna get a black screen for a second, just because I gotta go through this cutscene. And, there you go. As you can see, we got a hundred blue Pikmin on our field. So anyway guys, yeah, that's about it for this simple little tutorial. Now, doing this will make your Pikmin 2 hacking experience a whole lot easier on yourself. Because now you don't have to rebuild the ISO image every single time. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you found it helpful, subscribe for more content. I have a Twitter account. You can follow me on Twitter. I have a Facebook. Follow me on Facebook. And I also have a Twitch. So if you want, you can also see my live stream. Anyway, guys, that should be about it. Peace.